All right, question five. This is where we got our lump of wet putty on the wheel. Um, and it's riding at a radius, blah, 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 20 centimeters on the rim of a wheel with some period. Okay, so, and it comes fly off the five percent clock position. Okay, got it. So, um, period here was 0 0.007 seconds. Is that right? And then the radius, I believe, I'll see now I'm already forgetting. Radius was, um, right, 20, okay. So radius was zero, 0 0.20 meters. And it happens to fly off at what they call the five o'clock position. So there we go. So there it is. So the question we want to know really from this is, what is its velocity when it comes flying off? That's what's important for this thing. Which direction is going to be, first of all? Well, remember, velocity of an object moving in a circular motion is always tangent to the circle. Any time an object is moving along a path, its velocity is always tangent to the path. So it's going to be tangent to the circle at this angle. Now, fi now to find the angle, um, some of you probably got 4 o'clock and some got 5 o'clock for this. I think those are the only options. So you have to sort of think about a clock. First, you want to find this angle here. Um, we'll call that theta. So, well, no, we won't call it theta, but we'll, you know, we'll figure out what it is. So you think about a clock, uh, horizontal, vertical. You got your 12, you got your 3, you got your 6, and you got your 9. Okay. Now fly off at 5 o'clock, which means we're two thirds of the way from 3 to 6. So if we're measuring from the horizontal, um, I guess I can call that phi. The 5 o'clock angle is phi equals, this is 90 degrees all the way here, we're going two-thirds, so negative 60 degrees is this angle here. But the question we really want to know, or the answer, the what we really want to know, sorry, is this perpendicular here, right, when it's when it flies off. And if you think about it, vectors, remember the dirty little secret, is you can draw them anywhere. They don't care. Um, this is a right angle, right, because it's perpendicular here, as it's moving around the circle. Well, then this is a right angle, too, if this is just V again. I'm, I'm going a little fast here, but the point about drawing them anywhere is you take your velocity here and you redraw it up here. And then because this is a right angle and this is the same you know, vector as this, you know this must be a right angle, too. So the angle theta at which V comes off is going to be, positive, is going to be negative 60 plus this 90 degrees here. So the angle theta here, so I'm just going to draw this. Here's V naught is our initial velocity vector. The angle theta here equals 30 degrees. And then the V naught, well, that's just it's the speed it had when it was going around the circle, right? So T equals 2 pi r over V, if you'll recall. 2 pi r over V. Um, but we also know that V equals um, T, wait, no, sorry. V equals 2 pi, ah, 2 pi r over t. This is just multiplying both sides by v and dividing both sides by t gets you there. Now, where do we go from here? Well, we know our r and we know our t, right? So we're going to take um, v equals 2 pi r over t. So let's see. Um, on 2 times pi times r is 0.2 and then divide by 0 0.007. Dun, 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 Okay. I don't know if I didn't caught that reference, but anyway, um, 179.5 meters per second. Holy moly, that thing is going fast, all right? And it's at an angle of 30 degrees. So the velocity in the x direction is going to be, um, you know, we just do the sine and cosine breakdown, right? So, sorry, it's v-naught, which is our initial velocity for, we, we've got a projectile motion problem coming next. So, I mean, out of this. So I'm just taking this vx-naught is v-naught, cosine theta equals and then we take so we take what we had there and divide by um, cosine no I'm sorry whoops we multiply by cosine of 30 degrees and we get 155.5 uh, meters per second 5.5 meters per second and then V Y naught is then uh, V naught sine theta, which um, shouldn't, you know, be much of a surprise for any of us, but yes, 179.5 times sine of 30 degrees equals um, 89.75, is that right? So, yeah, right, okay. Um, so 89 point, uh, we'll just say 8 meters per second, 75, yeah, right, okay. So um, what we've got is this thing coming off, um, 
at 155.5 meters per second that way and 89.8 meters per second. Now, for the projectile motion bit, it's got to cross a distance. Um, basically, it starts out here with some, you know, with the V naught we just calculated, and it's going to cross some distance here. And we want to find out um, how high up it goes. So it splats against the wall somehow. And we're already given, as I recall, let me check this. As I recall, we're given that everything starts off, this distance H here is 1.2 meters above the floor, and this horizontal distance is 2.3 meters. Okay, so this is 2.3 meters is the distance D. So we want to find this total height here. Okay, I'll call that H, fine. Here's the deal. This thing is coming out 155.5 meters per second horizontally. That's fast. That is freaking fast. That's like a bullet, okay? And it's got to cross this 2.3 meter space. How long is it going to take to do that? Okay, so um, delta T equals delta X divided by velocity in the X direction, right? And we're just not accelerating an X, so no worries there. But as you'll see, it doesn't really make a difference. But anyway, 2.3 meters divided by um, 155.5 meters per second. And let's see. 2.3 divided by 155.5 gives us 0. 0. 0.015 seconds. Now, how far do you think gravity is going to pull it down in 0. 0.015 seconds? If you said, um, you know, not very far at all, you are correct. In fact, you can just square that and 9.8 and you get that it, it pulls it down by um, basically one millimeter, okay? Which is, needless to say, well within WebAssign's little 2%, um, you know, error range. So really, you can just say, you know what, screw gravity, I don't care. I'm just going to say delta y, or not, I don't want to do subscript, but delta y equals initial velocity in the y direction times delta t. Because this thing is just going to go pew, like that, it's going to pew, pew. You know, so there's not going to be any time for gravity to pull it down. So we take our initial vy, um, so 89.8 times 0 0.015, and that equals, let's see, so 0 0.015 times 89.8 is going to equal 1.347 meters, and then we also add on this 1.2 down here. So really the total is going to be uh, 2.55 meters and let's see what I get if I put that in 2.55 meters and then see told you so basically the point the point is sometimes you can make these little judgment calls where you say look this thing is just going way too freaking fast um, for us to even worry about gravity it's only it's only got to cross this little 2.3 meter gap it spends you know 0.015 seconds in there so it's not going to go it's not going to go anywhere and turns out we're correct